What's up, guys? It's the the morning of the 26th, the day after Christmas, and uh, I'm actually getting ready to head out of town for a couple days to see Michaela's side of the family. But I said I was going to do a video of like a sales update for the the week of Christmas, which actually was kind of a slow week, but uh, I had to do it. So uh, here it is, a little sales update video of 10 items that sold uh, this past week. Um, this first one was actually uh, an item that I bought three of at normal Goodwill for three bucks a piece. And um, I actually, even though I love outdoor stuff, I, I didn't realize, I wasn't real familiar with this brand, Moose Jaw. Um, but I looked it up and uh, I saw that it was kind of a cool brand. It has like a nice fit, a little more of like a slim athletic fit. Well, I got three of these new tags for three bucks a piece, and uh, this was the last one that just sold. Um, I think it sold for like 17 or 20 though. I took an offer on it. This next one um, was like a, a vintage golf sweater. It was another brand that I wasn't, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought to pick up to sell. Uh, it was grand slam by penguin you see a lot of like athletic polos like it but it was just an old um golf sweater that surprisingly sold <clears throat> kind of kind of quickly um that actually sold for the full 19.99 too all right this is uh this this goes to show that you need to take a little time to learn about running shoes because this color, it's real easy to pick out, you know, running shoes that are visually appealing, um, you know, with bright colors and they just, they look cool because people want to wear them because they look cool. But that doesn't mean that ones that aren't maybe as attractive aren't good running shoes. Uh, my wife actually used to sell shoes and she taught me about <laughs> the, the nice ASICs are the ones that have the, uh, the gel that's kind of like a real basic rule of thumb to go by. And these were the A6 Gel GT 2140s. Um, so I picked these up and uh, they actually ended up going for full full asking price, which was $24.99. Uh, this is actually one of my old watches and it was uh, a Bulova from the, the Diamond Collection. You can see the, the 12, the three and the nine um have a, a small diamond in it and uh it just wasn't really my style i used to be a big a big watch person and i just was i my wife gave me this as like a uh i know that sounds that sounds horrible she gave it to me as like a dress watch and i, I had it for a few years and i just didn't get worn a lot and uh she was actually the one that suggested that i sell it um and i started it is a buy it now around a hundred for a while because I think she, I think she actually bought it off eBay, but it wasn't it wasn't selling and then I slowly started lowering the price and eventually it it got put on an auction starting at like thirty four thirty nine and it it got a little bid war going on but it ended up going for sixty one. Uh, next up, this is a pair of Keen. I haven't seen they were they were blue canvas and they were like really nice condition but they were kind of small um but I picked those up and uh I think I took an offer for 29 29 something like that uh this is cool because you can't always let your first experience determine you know like what you're gonna hustle or flip because the first typewriter that I sold um it sat forever i picked it up and it was a little bit pricier i think it paid like 10 or 15 dollars but i saw the comps were selling for quite a bit um but then i got it home and it just it was in kind of rough shape it had like some dings even the um the case was dented and it eventually ended up selling but this one i i found it was like a a mobile one it had like this little little case it was quite a bit smaller and I only paid $3 for it. Um, so I looked it up 
And uh, I don't know why shipping says 1350 because I had a calculated shipping. It actually sold for the 50, and then I got like 30 bucks um, for the shipping. So three dollars, I made fifty on the item. Plus, I think I it only cost me like fifteen or twenty. I think it cost me fifteen dollars, fifteen or sixteen, because I fit it in a large flat rate. So that that was a that was a nice little flip. Next up is a pair of Morel uh, Plaza Mid Chelsea boots. These were cool. This this was like one of those one of those trips that uh, I just happened to stop at the thrift store on the way home. And uh, walked in there, and I missed it the first time through. And then I was coming back up, and I walked past the shoes section again, and I saw the the bottom. I saw this part right here, that little like suction cup octopus looking sole, and I recognized that. So I went over and flipped them, and uh, I was super happy to find these. They were like a few real light scuffs but they were barely used um and these ended up going for 49.99 i think all right the next next item the hype is real okay if you watched the channel you saw that michaela found this at the thrift store a little while uh like last week or something and i listed them um I listed it. She she told me she's like you can't go under retail, uh, sell it for retail. So I looked it up. It was like thirty six dollars. So I did thirty nine ninety nine for the retail plus shipping, and it sold like within twenty minutes. Um, I didn't even get an offer. They just paid full asking. So seriously, if you find Lularoe, pick it up. Um, this next was uh. I just realized I'm completely sold out of these now. That was that China set that I actually had my brother-in-law give me to sell because he didn't want to deal with it. So instead of selling it as a bundle, I listed each item and uh, get, you know give the buyer an option of buying like a replacement or adding on. So this last sale was uh, third. I sold three of these dinner plates for 35 and now I'm out of those and today's last item is a pair of Red Wing Irish Setter hunting boots I picked these up just the other day for I want to say it was $3.99 or $4.99 it's a lot cheaper than you would normally pay for Red Wings especially ones that were in this kind of condition like they were gently used for sure um and i think these went for 49.99 so it was good um some good sales but real uh, after that it was like a lot of just smaller bread and butter like 10 15 dollar sales this last week before christmas um it was quite a bit slower like my my 7 day total dropped like almost to half you know it dropped down quite a bit but uh I told myself it was going to happen and I was ready for it so I'm not freaking out. I'm just uh taking a little taking it a little bit easier and getting ready for 2017. I think I'm going to make a video about kind of how like how I go through the end of the year and do like a review of the my previous year's goals and you know make adjustments and kind of do like a mind dump to see which way I want to go in 2017. So Stay tuned. I'll probably do a video like that. Um, but I hope you guys had a good weekend, a good holiday, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.